Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Walkney here. Exciting times. We just got the official announcement from Arrow Video talking about the Shaw Brothers Martial Arts Kung Fu Collection. It's a 12-disc box set with some iconic classic martial arts movies from the, uh, the 70s and I believe the early 80s. I have my uh, laptop here. I'm going to talk about what's included and the, the price and my excitement level and stuff like that. And forgive me if I mispronounce um, people's names or movies names incorrectly or something. We're just we're just going to go with it. So uh, Shaw Scope Volume 1, which implies that there might be a Volume 2, which I hope the sales are great. And I hope there's another, you know, release of these. Now, if you didn't know, I love I grew up watching Kung Fu movies, martial arts movies. Uh, Shaw Brothers movies when I was a kid, uh, Chang Che, Gordon Liu, Alexander Fushang. These were common actors and talents and directors and stuff that I was looking for when I was, uh, you know, waiting to to watch those on TV and then later get them on VHS, bootleg VHSs, DVDs, and some Blu-ray and now kind of even more on Blu-ray. So uh, we've got the Shaw Scope Volume 1. Uh, looks like the retail price is going to be about 130 bucks. You can uh, import it from Diabolic or Zavi or if you're overseas uh, directly from the uh, Arrow Video website. I'm not sure yet if these are going to be Region B locked or uh, Region A and Region B or something like that. So just, you know, be warned you may need to get a, a region free Blu-ray player, if you are a fan of uh, collecting DVDs, martial arts films, and imports, you might already have one. I picked up one last year for about 100 bucks, and hey, it works, works good, I like it. So, all right, let's talk about the movies. 12 high-definition Blu-ray presentations, 1080p of King Boxer, The Boxer from Shang Tung, Five Shaolin Masters, Shaolin Temple, Mighty Peking Man, Challenge of the Masters, Executioners from Shaolin, Chinatown Kid, The Five Venoms, Crippled Avengers, Heroes of the East, and Dirty Ho. So that's the 12 titles. Uh, here's some of the bullet points. Brand new 2K restorations by Arrow Films from the original camera negative of King Boxer, Boxer from Shantung. Challenge of the Masters, The Five Venoms, Crippled Avengers, and Dirty Ho. So some new transfers on some of those. Original lossless mono Mandarin, Cantonese where applicable, and English audio. So maybe I'll get some classic uh, English dub audio as well. New translation on the subtitles for each film. That's a plus. Hours of bonus features including brand new commentaries, critic appreciation on selected films, new and archived interviews with cast and crew, alternate credit sequences. If you know, some of the credit sequences in the beginning and the end are pretty epic. Sometimes I have like five minutes of like a kung fu um, show and tell or kind of a show off thing. So it'd be interesting to kind of compare some of those. Uh, trailer, image gallery for each film and more to be announced. So this is pending news, more to be announced. Uh, here's, a, here's a bonus. So this is a box set, it's a, collect, it's a collector's item. It's a box set, we're gonna get a 60 page booklet with uh, writings from David Desser, Simon Abrams, Terrence J. Brady, um, and talking about trivia, soundtrack info. So that's great, we're gonna get some new artwork and uh, I'll put a link in the description below so you can kind of check out some more of the details on this. But let's talk a little bit about some of the movies. Some of these I already have on Blu-ray and DVD, so it'd be great to update. Some of them I've never seen before, so uh, it'll be kind of a whirlwind of uh, you know excitement. So it looks like the earliest movie is 1972, Zhong um, Cheng Kwa's King Boxer, which is also known as Five Fingers of Death. This is kind of the film that established a lot of the Shaw Brothers and martial arts movies internationally as international box office power to hit. Um, I would say I'm not the biggest fan of this movie, but I do kind of recognize the significance and importance of this movie. If you've seen this before, you might remember the glowing fists and that screeching alarm sound that uh, Tarantino used in some of his movies, that kind of thing. It's it's brutal, it's bloody, it's a lot of backstabbing, a lot of villainous treachery at work. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's some, some, again, 1972. So uh, definitely uh, great to have in this collection as the importance factor, just not, you know, hasn't really resonated with me over the years and stuff. So uh, the next group of films we get is uh, from Cheng Che. He's got a bunch in this collection. That's the director I'm a big fan of. I like uh, Cheng Che's 
martial arts choreography and his, his editing he would always kind of have like two fight scenes two or three fight scenes at once and he'd have a great way of cutting in between back and forth um keeping things flowing keeping things uh edge your seat never quite knowing who's gonna win a lot of a lot of heroes getting killed a lot of villains of course getting defeated in his movies so uh the boxer from shang tung which I haven't seen for a while. Um, I know, I think that has uh, David Chang stuff um, and that, I'll have to double check some of these, but Five Shaolin Masters, which that one I have seen not too long ago. I have that on DVD here. That's got some of the, um, the classic uh, actors in there. And I remember this having like a great little uh, overall story and some learning, some, some revenge and some learning different styles of martial arts and Kung Fu. So that one I'm looking forward to checking out again. The uh, Shaolin Temple, which um, I have seen a Shaolin Temple with Jet Li, but I think this is the 1976 version because it's Chang Che with Alexander Fushang, T. Long, David Chang. Great cast. I don't know, like, I have to watch a trailer or something like that. I don't remember when the last time I've seen this. The problem with some of these movies is they've had different names or alternate names and stuff like that. So sometimes I've seen movies like on a bootleg VHS back in the day with a different name to it. So that one I'll have to check out. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below if you've seen that uh, Shaolin Temple. Uh, and then and then we're getting to the, the heavy hitter here. The Five Venoms, aka the Five Deadly Venoms. Probably one of the best martial arts movies ever made. I've got the Blu-ray here from Dragon Dynasty, which, you know, I seem, seem to remember being an okay transfer, okay thing to watch, but very much looking forward to getting a new transfer of this, some updated subtitles, some special features, just overall gloriousness. If you've never seen any 70s Shaw Brothers martial arts movie, The Five Deadly Venom is great. We had the kind of the introduction of the Venom mob, as we call them. Uh, scorpion, centipede, toad, um, lizard, uh, of course the, the pupil, and um, so yeah, lots of fun in this, lots of intrigue, lots of excitement, and then the the, the pseudo follow-up to that is Crippled Avengers, re sometimes known as the Return of the Five Deadly Venoms, which is kind of a, a fake name for this movie, but uh, the reason why it's it's another Venom Mom movie with some of the characters from the Five Deadly Venoms in this. This is an underrated classic right here. If you've never seen this one, it's great. A lot of gore, a lot of blood, a lot of silliness, but pretty great. And I only have this, the Dragon Dynasty one on DVD, so it'd be great to get that as a Blu-ray. That would be a, a good step up. Uh, then also um, another another grouping here is uh, let's see Long Long Car La is going to have a few of his movies Challenge of the Masters, which I have on DVD here, which actually night nice I got the little slip cover here and uh, this is a fun fun martial arts movie here. It's been a while since I've seen this. Like, I should, some of these I'll be looking forward to checking out, you know, revisiting, because uh, it's been a while since I popped that on. Uh, what else? He's got Executioners from Shaolin, which I have the uh, DVD as well, as well as Gordon Liu. Although Gordon Liu, kind of more of a cameo in this, so spoiler alert, um, he's kind of just in the beginning. Uh, but it's great because it's got uh, Pai Mei, the, uh, the white Shaolin master with the, with the beard and stuff like that, and he does his... Uh, you know, his martial arts, which I think he might be played by, Lo yeah, Lo Lee is Pai Mei in this. So that's a, a great, important kind of movie to kind of kick things off. And uh, what else we got? And then probably one of my, another one of my favorite martial arts movies of all time, Heroes of the East. This one, it, it, again, if you've never seen Five Deadly Venoms, you got to go with that. But that's a little more on the... Um, fantasy side of martial arts, if such a thing exists, where this is a little more on the realistic side. Gordon Liu is challenging some of the Japanese karate experts, and there's, there's like a display of martial arts, weapons, uh, martial arts, a bill hand-to-hand -hand combat. Story is great, there's, there's love, there's intrigue, there's a lot of stuff going on here. It's gonna be great to have an upgrade from the Dragon Dynasty DVD to the Blu-ray of that, looking great. And then of course, who hasn't seen Dirty Ho? I think this is pretty regularly available, maybe on Amazon Prime or, or Tubi or something like that. If you've never seen Dirty Ho, great, fun, classic movie there. Lots of great martial arts stuff happening. Uh, what else we got? We got Ho Meng Hyo's um, King Kong inspired movie, Mighty Peking Man, which is, <laughs> I've never seen this. I watched the trailer and I was just like, 
How does this movie kind of slip my radar? But you know, it's not a martial arts movie, so there's a little bit of a departure with this movie. But uh, the, the description on the website is the most unmissable, insane giant monster film ever made. We'll see. I've never seen that. We'll see if that holds true. If you're watching this, let me know if that holds true. Uh, we're gonna get a, a Alexander Fusheng breakout movie by, uh, I think this one's Chang Che also. Let me double check that. And um, that's called Chinatown Kid. And Chang Che. Now, if you didn't know, Chang, uh, Alexander Fusheng unfortunately departed us early. Yeah, that is Chang Che there. Now, Chinatown King was kind of the the movie I think that was meant to be like the big, like we're gonna break Alexander Fusheng out to the American market or broadly international, kind of make him like a Bruce Lee type of character, something like that. Fortunately, he passed away very young and very early. Uh, a lot of his movies are very fun to watch. The guy was just like charismatic, good looking, great martial arts and acrobatic skills. So it'll be fun to check that out. The only downside of that is it's a little more of a modern take on martial arts movies where I prefer Fusheng in more of his classic, um, uh, you know, throwback kind of things, uh, traditional kind of things there. So let me see, what am I missing? Have I skipped over anything? Um, again, let me run down the list. King Boxer, the boxer from Shang Tung, Five Shaolin Masters, Shaolin Temple, Mighty Peking Man, Challenge of the Masters, Executioners from Shaolin, Chinatown King, The Five Venoms, Crippled Avengers, Heroes of the East, Dirty Ho, 12, great Shaw Brothers movies. Well, I think they're all great. I haven't seen them all uh, for almost um, almost about 10, a little over 10 bucks each if you, if you get them from Diabolic or Zavi. Looks like about 130 bucks for 12 movies. Again, this is labeled Volume 1, so... If there's gonna be a volume two, whoo! It's gotta have 36 chambers, right? Gotta have the couple of 36 chambers movies. Um, I can't even speculate what would be in volume two. This is coming out, I think it said in December. I didn't write it down in my notes, but I think pre-orders are starting now. I think it's in December 2021. Uh, it'd be great to get this as a Christmas box gift. I know it's big, you know, it's a lot of movies. So let me know if you guys are martial arts fans, if you've seen some of these movies, what your thoughts are. If you guys are brand new, please, you know, subscribe, hit the like button there and leave some comments. Let me know what you think. For CoinOp TV, we'll see you next time.